Welcome to another round of movie face-off. Now I know in my last video I said I was going to stick mainly to horror movie related stuff for the months of September and October, but still early in September and I just finished watching Creed, so I thought, what the hell, let's do a movie face-off that's not related to horror movies. Now, brief thoughts on the Rocky franchise as a whole. I love it. And even though it had its low moments like Rocky V and some people say Rocky VI, they're both not actually bad movies. There's always something good in all of them and they're all great movies to still watch at the end of the day. They're just really great pump up, great movies. And I love them. So, but there is a huge debate in the Rocky franchise. Which one is better, the very first Rocky or Creed? And like I said, I just finished watching Creed. I love both Rocky and Creed. I think they're great. I don't, yeah, I think they're great. I don't want to take anything away from these movies, but I'm still going to do a movie face-off. Because even though Creed is technically a sequel slash spin-off, they explain enough where you don't need to watch the other movies in order to watch Creed and enjoy it. So, five rounds, unlike the 12 in Creed, for another movie face-off. So, round one. Story. The story of the first Rocky movie is probably the ultimate underdog story. Rocky Balboa, who's known as a... He who collects money for his... For the loan shark in Philadelphia. And he gets the opportunity to fight the heavyweight champion, Apollo Creed. In a little like, exhibition, exhibition match. And he trains and he fights Apollo Creed. Now the story of Creed... Yeah, it's slightly more complicated than that. Adonis Creed, nicknamed Hollywood, he grew up in Los Angeles as the illegitimate son of now passed away Apollo Creed, decides to go into boxing, moves to Philadelphia. Rocky Balboa, now old and sick, agrees to help train Creed against the current heavyweight champion who was about to be sent to prison shortly after the, his last fight with Creed. And just based on the fact that it's like the ultimate underdog story and just how really real and just how truly immersive it is, I'm going to have to give this one to the first Rocky movie. So round one goes to Rocky. Now time for round two. Characters. Now the characters that are in both films are of course, is of course Rocky Balboa. Now... In the first film, he was the main character, the, the collector for the Lone Shark who becomes the fighter of the boxing world. And in Creed, he is the mentor and best friend of Creed's late father, who helps him out. But the main character in Creed, like I said, is Adonis, nicknamed Hollywood Creed. And he just has this hunger, this urge to fight to prove that he's not a mistake, that he can make his own legacy. And and even though Rocky has always been great though the series, I just feel like a strong passion with Adonis Creed who wants to prove himself that is just as inspirational as Rocky Balboa's. But I'm but like, but I'm going to have to give this one to the 2015 film Creed because there's just so much hunger with him. I just, so much passion. And Rocky had passion, but it's just much more fierce with him. So round two goes to Creed. One to one tie. Time for round three. How grounded are these movies? Now the Rocky franchise overall has been praised for being grounded in reality, with of course some noble exceptions like a lot of Rocky IV. But in the first Rocky movie, very realistic, like I said, the ultimate underdog story, working for the loan shark, collecting money, has this like very cramped small studio apartment Rocky has. 
and he has a relationship with a woman who's very socially shy, who works at a pet store, and his best friend Polly is, of course, has his flaws and such, that really speaks to just how the average Philadelphian lives in Philadelphia, and how they all have this dream of, like, just making a bag that Rocky succeeds in. And, of course, Creed, the realism of being an illegitimate son of a former boxing champion who now goes in the game trying to prove himself, even though he's just very new and it's just as grounded as the first one. And... But I'm just really going to have to go with the first Rocky film because, like I said, it really shows the life of Philadelphia, shows the people and the spirit that the town has despite all the hardships that the city goes through. I just feel like that's a lot more at in the spotlight in the first Rocky film. So, so two points for Rocky, one for Creed so far. Time for round four, Emotion. Now, the first film, Rocky, there, of course, is emotion. A lot of it's more like on the darker side of things, but there's a very bright optimism in the feel of this movie that really makes you root for him. And in Creed, there's a, there's a lot of emotion, but some of it does connect with characters that, ha that have been in the franchise for a while, and there are some emotional moments where it probably would be better to watch the other Rocky films first to get a truly emotional impact. But even then, it's just, it feels so passion-filled. I just, the emotion of Creed is just, if, I feel like it just ha grabs you a lot more than in the Rocky film. And even though Rocky was does connect you with Balboa. There's just something about Creed. So I have to give this one to Creed. So, two to two tie. The Italian Stallion and Hollywood. Now, time for the fifth round. The final round. The fight itself. Now, the big fight in Rocky is, of course, the exhibition-like match between Balboa and Apollo Creed. And the big fight in Creed is, of course, Hollywood Creed versus Colin Conlon, a Liverpool heavyweight champion. Like, I don't, Conlon, Conlon, yeah, Conlon, that's his name. Sorry. Just, I should know that name off the top of my head, but I, bleh. But anyway, it's the big fight. And I think this one isn't as clear cut as I probably thought it was going to be. I mean, with the fight between Balboa and Creed in the first film, yeah, it's pretty intense, but at the beginning of that match, like, Apollo really isn't giving it his all because he truly thinks it's just, like, more exhibition-like and Rocky does not think that, so he goes all in and does take Creed, like, a round or two to actually start giving his full effort, which just does work in a certain way, but... With Creed, the final fight was always all in from the very start. Because Conlon, he's going to go to jail after this, so he has to prove himself. And, of course, you've got Creed, who has to prove himself in a different way. And both fights mirror each other in the fact that the main character doesn't technically win the fight, but does technically win the people over. But I'm going to be really honest... I'm going to have to give this one to Creed. Like I said, it was all in at the very beginning, unlike in Rocky, which was took Apollo a round or two to actually start giving his all. And there's a lot more intensity between the two fighters in Creed, between Conlon and Adonis. So, round three and the movie face-off goes to Creed. Now, like I said, I love both these movies, and I don't want to take anything away from either of them. But if I'm just going to have to be honest, at the end of the day, I do like Creed a little bit better.
But like I said, Rocky is an amazing film. Check it out. And like, comment, subscribe, share, Dr. Cinema. See you next time. Bye.